कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव अथ योगाशासन द फर्स्ट सूत्र ऑफ द योग सूत्र इन ब्रह्म सूत्र एम आई ऑडिबल टू ऑल फॉर परफेक्ट इफ नॉट ड मैटर इन ब्रह्म सूत्र द फर्स्ट सूत्र इज अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा सो वेन वी स्टार्ट ए सेंटेन्स there after we will have nice lunch so what does it mean that this earlier we have done something or we have to do something then only there after will come see so the meaning of this word atha presupposes that after this atha yoga anushasanam atha to There are two words, atha, atha, two. <coughs> Thereafter, therefore, two. Atha, 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 to yoga anushasanam. Anushasanam is discipline. Anushasanam is practice. So there is nothing to be done as. research See, many places they talk about research in yoga no need because what they do whatever <coughs> patanjali has said see it happens are you going to give certification to patanjali no research need to say it is a subjective experience so atha now okay therefore therefore means when so <coughs> there are two aspects in our life one is we have to know after we know then we have to practice okay. like music you get all the books and everything yeah this is uh, indolam and this is uh, shivaranjani and this is very good nice then no practice in the same manner what we have to practice and what for so the only purpose of our life is we are an instrument for expressing <coughs> the divinity that we are essentially anything that is created it has got something to be done for example this mic now why this mic is made it is not a decoration piece it is meant for a purpose mic doesn't have purpose be very attentive is a very subtle point mic doesn't have any purpose but the mic is made for some purpose and the one who uses this mic for whom the mic is made for the speaker therefore whatever the speaker is speaking that alone is conveyed through the mic with amplification without distortion now suppose like it happens many places these mics have got their own story sometime they will be making their own noise there will be echo there will be clearing of the throats by the mic there will be some cracking sounds so when that mic is making it again and again what will we do we'll remove that mic it is not a fit instrument through which i can reach you 
so we are all made by god like a mic mic is what it is the karya effect of maya maya maika so this mic is the effect or the karya of maya now what is this maya maya gives us a measured experience for example hearing abilities there is a spectrum of decibels beyond which our human mind cannot experience sound similarly there is a spectrum of light waves beyond which our vision cannot penetrate we cannot see the x ray gamma ray beta ray we cannot see we can see satyajit ray but not this one so if we insist whatever i see with my eyes that alone is the truth and that alone i accept accept then we are under the influence of maya maya is not some girl or the ex um, chief minister of some state no therefore this in between you and me is the mic in the same manner between the creator and his creation which includes us also we are a mic and through us he wants to speak through us he wants to express this is a very important point to recognize in a group of young engineers one boy asked this question the moment they see us in this attire they start having questions in their mind otherwise they are happy because we are questionable personality so they have to ask question and what is the question same dumb question that's why i don't entertain question answers so question is what is the purpose of life this is really no purpose whether you are born or you die or you are aborted who cares see like for a small screw there is a purpose if the screw is removed from that main machine the machine becomes defunct in the same manner if we go out of this world makes no difference so many have come and gone there are there were many saviors of this world oh they have descended on this earth for saving the world world is the same they were shaved off the world is the same hey friends therefore purpose is not ours purpose is his now if i have to get some work done then what will i do i will search for a right person is it not like if i had to come to bengaluru who will i call i will call top technician a right person fit person capable person available person isn't it so when our work we want to do we are searching for a right instrument in the same manner when he wants to get his work done he is also searching for a right instrument so what should be our uh, lifestyle we should be a right instrument a fit instrument a capable instrument an available instrument then only he will select us and then he can express to us therefore this is the foundation of life so atha ataha yoga anushasana atha there after where after when we are convinced of this basic principle we are here not for 
our any purpose see it is his purpose ata therefore therefore means what therefore we must be a fit instrument physically mentally intellectually and spiritually now this cannot happen by default you have to work on it wherever there is prakriti vikruti will happen by default see what we have done to grow our age all old people have got an arrogance see these days children don't listen to the elder people now what you have done to become old tell me poor son is standing in the center and the earth is moving around and our age is growing and there abhiman friends our contribution is zero ataha therefore what is to be done we have to be physically mentally intellectually and spiritually fit ataha ata ataha Now for that what is to be done yoga anushasanam so we have to be a disciplined person in life physically disciplined mentally disciplined intellectually disciplined and spiritually disciplined without discipline nothing can be achieved in life then patanjali maharshi gave us the eight limbs of yoga now what we have to practice yoga anushasana we don't have to do research on that anushasana practice now <coughs> so what are the things you all know you are expert in this the eight limbs yama niyama asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi now be attentive limb means ang ashtanga yoga ang so hands are my ang limbs legs are my ang limbs and i am angi to whom the hands belong to me to whom the legs belong to me so yoga ashtanga ashtanga yoga so who is the yoga i am the yoga and i have these limbs these limbs are not for themselves hands are not for hands legs are not for legs they are for me therefore we use the limbs we don't live for the limbs the hands are not working for them working for me i am the yoga and the limbs if this is clear exactly the same way ashtanga yoga there are eight limbs see now these eight limbs are for whom so patanjali has to define what is yoga then ashtanga yoga so the anga for the yoga who is yoga like in our example i am the yoga and these are my limbs so what is the yoga normally here all the yoga students limit their understanding to one half sutra not complete see so they are told that um chitta vritti nirodha yoga ha and it is where they go the wrong way see because immediately after this sutra next sutra comes yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha ha tada drashtu hu swarupe avasthana so we have to read these two sutras together see but what normally happens they take only this one sutra yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha and whole life this west in controlling the mind friends don't get lost in that 
Why should we be afraid of thoughts? Why should we be afraid? When I open my eyes, I see so many things, lovely things, ugly things. So is it a problem for the eyes? If we see by the eyes, it is not a problem. If we hear by the ears, it is not a problem. So if we think by the mind, why it should be a problem? Why chitta vritti nirodha? If you do chitta vritti nirodha, then Patanjali would never have been able to write any book. When you are in deep sleep, can you write a book? No. Therefore, the subsequent sutra, when you are free from, be attentive, when you are free from the influence of thoughts, then through you, tada drashtuhu sarupe avasthanam, then you are abiding in your divine nature. Therefore, we are living in the relative world through the thoughts, but we are abiding in the divine. Abidance in the divine is the yoga. See, how simple it is. And in this Ashtanga, the eight limbs, the most important are the first two. Yama, Niyama. But you see everywhere, they take a detour, bypass, diversion. Hardly anywhere they give emphasis on Yama and the Niyam. See, Yama Sadhana is having fivefold. Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Aparigraha, Brahmachari. So if you want to understand it in simple words, Yama Sadhana is our interaction with the world in such a manner that the world is not a problem for us and we are not a problem for the world. Ahimsa, don't destroy physically by words or mentally. Ahimsa. But this we bypass. Then comes the next one, Niyama Sadhana. In that Niyama Sadhana, we are told, Shaucha Santosha Tapasvadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani Niyama. Now, if we want to summarize them in one single line, Niyama is, we should not be a problem to ourselves. We are the worst problem for ourselves. We suffer maximum only because of ourselves. You must have experienced this thing during our Corona festival. You are all alone yourself. Constantly disturb. Who is disturbing you? Then we go to some reason. Hey, how are you? Oh, I am busy. But how come you came so much early morning? No, yeah, I was getting bored. So you get bored and go and distribute others or what? Imagine when I get bored of myself. Who can help me? If I get bored of this girl, I can run away from her. But if I get bored of myself, where will I go? Wherever I go, there I am. That is the Niyama Sadhana. See? And in Niyama Sadhana, Shaucha Santosha Tapasvadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhana. Shaucha, external cleanliness and inner purity of intentions together constitute Shaucha. Shaucha is not only cleanliness. Cleanliness you get in the hospital also. That is not Shaucha. When our intentions are clear, you are not a problem for yourself. Shaucha. Santosha, contentment. Patanjali says, Santosha Anuttama Sukalava. Contentment leads to the unparalleled bliss. Are we content? This we have to practice. Shaucha Santosha. 
then tapas now in this tapas most of us torture ourselves agrevanni prushte bhanu ratro chumuku samarpita janu torture not eating this not eating that observing fast and you see all these tapasvis they are extremely angry brand do you read uh, listen the stories from our puranas all tapasvis they are a mobile uh, shopping centers इसको शाप दे दो उसको शाप दे दो उसको शाप दे दो कॉन्स्टेंटली करसिंग बिकॉज यू कैन डू दिस काइंड ऑफ तपस्या वेन यू आर ऑब्स्टिनेट जिद्दी देन यू कैन डू इट एंड देन दे स्ट्रगल इज आई कैन रिमेन विदाउट फूड फॉर सेवन डेज एट डेज कैन यू रिमेन आई कैन स्टैंड ऑन वन लेग सी i can stand to the cold not putting any warm clothes what do you want to prove and to whom even if we die who cares tapasya is not this stupid approach tapasya is um, invocation of two important spiritual qualities first we have a very low opinion about ourselves i don't think i can do it why not see for that take some small vratam not torture in time simple that you must get up i am not telling you to go to 3 o'clock like we do like a bhut no Continue. You get up early morning, maybe at five o'clock or six o'clock. After you get up, then make your bed properly. See, when you are using your washroom, keep everything neatly. Simple things. We have to become self-disciplined and self-dependent. that is tapas we can do it in old age one of the biggest problem is we suffer from excess of time psychosis with shortage of time nobody suffers in life we suffer when there is excess of time every day we have to live 24 hours Oh God, what to do now? What to do? What to do? So eat this thing, eat that thing, or go to this place, or constantly look into the phone, or some useless kind of serials, because we want to run away from ourselves. Tapas is practice this. You can. See? So decide, make a discipline. You can. It's not impossible. by this few examples if you do then you will discover self confidence for leading spiritual life we require two things one is we can do this conviction all the great masters lived on the same time scale as we are vivekananda did not have a time scale per day 40 hours and per week 15 days no same time scale see our uh, ramchandra maharaj he did not become old he could do it why not we we can so if we start this negative thing i don't think i can but then you don't want to do it that's it so first of all we have to discover we can and second thing is we have to have self confidence so for this one simple thing i tell you try you decide to wake up at the same in the morning at 5 o'clock and you listen to satsang get inspired okay from tomorrow i will start getting up getting up at 5 o'clock 
and go to sleep after two o'clock, watching all rubbish things. And in the morning, two o'clock, uh, five o'clock. But you will get out of sleep, but not out of bed. Then your mind will come to your health. Now I am 75. In my whole life, I never woke up so early. Now these Babaji, they have nothing to do. They keep on telling all rubbish things. Now what am I going to get by getting 5 o'clock? Is it that God is available only in the morning? He is 24 hours available. Eh. And again we go to sleep. And then as usual, we wake up at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And then, today also I could not do it. Then, I am good for nothing, I cannot do it. Self-confidence gone. These are the two things. Discover independence on things and beings. And we must have self-confidence. Then the tapasya is meaningful. It is not for torturing the body. See? Tapa, then swadhyaya. It must form a regular part of our life. That we must study scriptures. Take Bhagavad Gita. Must every day. And the second thing is, we must keep an eye on our mind. See? When these two things are consciously practiced, then we are practicing Swadhyaya. In between, Shaucha Santosha. Santosha is contentment. There is no end to add something more. We have to draw a line thus far, not further. We have to draw a line. Nobody can draw it for us. More and more and more. How much more? This is enough. Therefore, Somebody has gone and played with that thing. Don't play with that mind, that gentleman standing there. Don't play with it. It was going on already. So, Shaucha, Santosha, Contentment. And what should be the contentment? One of the most important things. We don't have to compete with others. We must know our own limitation. If somebody is chanting Om, you must have experienced this thing. In collective way, when they chant Om, there is a competition. Who can chant long? Oh. Or earlier, or Panchak, at the one there, oh. With whom are you competing? In fact, spiritual practice, yoga is done so secretly that nobody should know that we are walking the spiritual path. Nobody should know. Spirituality is not becoming extraordinary. Spirituality is remaining ordinary. Shaucha Santosha Tapas then Swadhyaya. Now how do we observe the Swadhyaya? Whenever, whatever we are doing, where is our attention? Is our attention on the results of our action outside? Or is our attention on our mind? Before we take up anything to begin, during the execution of that job and after the job is over, is our mind at peace or not? This is what we have to study. Mind must remain untouched in and through all activities of life. It should be available like a catalytic agent in chemistry. 
that catalytic agent will be speeding up the process without getting consumed. In the same manner, mind is used for getting the job things done, but the mind remains undisturbed, untouched. That is Swadhyaya. Then Ishwar Pradhidhana. Ishwar Pradhidhana is this sutra Ishwar Pradhidhana comes twice in Yoga Sutra. So important it is. We must have an element of the divine principle in our life as most essential. And for this, like when we have our meditation lectures, we don't have meditation sessions, we have meditation lectures. I am a little abnormal. He will forgive me. I undo meditations. Spiritual life is not doing anything. It is undoing all what we have been doing in our life. Spiritual life is not becoming extraordinary, but unbecoming all what we are become. And therefore you have heard of our mantra, Na kuch pana, na kuch khona. I will give you my example to understand. I come here. Now, what is the foundation on which I come here? Na kuch pana. I have not come here for earning a particular, if I come there, I should get this much. This is my fees. This is my guru dakshar, you know? Na kuch pana. When I am giving the talk, people will understand and improve. I don't expect that. What I am losing, I am not losing anything. See, the net result is you are at peace. To put it in one single simple line, let us not struggle to prove anything to anybody in this world. Our life is a struggle. We want to prove something. One lady in England, she asked me, Swamiji, I want to be like you. How come you are not tired? You come such a long distance and yet you are fresh. I want to be like you. I said, you cannot be like me. Why? I said, your whole life is only two things. You are struggling to prove to something, but you do not know to whom you want to prove what and who cares for you. Don't struggle, be yourself. And the second thing is, we try to justify every time. See, actually, you know, I wanted to come, you know, but it should happen that my driver came late, therefore I am late. Who asked you? See, one of the things is mantra, who asked you? 99% times we talk when it is not asked by anybody. So important it is. And therefore, when you are sitting for your meditation, one of the most important principles is we should not develop any fear. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan says, Abhayam Sattva Sam Chuddhi, Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti, Abhayam, fearlessness. But they sit for meditation and there is a fear. And how this fear is expressed? By cracking the joints. Now, has any teacher told you, crack the joint, crack, crack, crack. It's only because of fear or imagination. So, I mean, I have it all with this fear. You tell us to get out of the body identification. Now, if I go out and if I cannot enter, then you are dead. No, then I will not worry. <laughs> Fear is one of the biggest problems in our any pursuit. See? Therefore, how do we achieve this? This thing. Just do this bhavana. Bhavana is one of the most potent yoga. See? Nasti buddhi ayuktasya, nacha ayuktasya bhavana, nacha bhavayata shanti, ashantasya putasukam. 
Nasti buddhi ayuptasya. He who is not well organized in his life, he cannot have proper understanding. See, nacha ayuptasya bhavana. And he is not properly oriented in proper thinking, he cannot do this bhavana. Now be attentive. We are all doing this bhavana. I am a man. I am young. I am old. I am good. I am sincere. This is our bhavana. Is it the truth? No. So when we can do this bhavana, then I am the body. Why not do this bhavana? I am divine. Do this bhavana. Doesn't matter in what posture you sit. Doesn't matter what time it is. Therefore, Ishwara Pranidhan, the Lord is in our heart and the Guru is in our heart. He protects us from within and the Guru guides us from within. External Guru is a burden. When the Guru manifests in our heart, we start learning from every experience of our life. Don't keep the Guru outside, like the shoes. See, food is outside in the plate. Where is the hunger? Hunger is not in the plate. Hunger is in the stomach. So the food must be lifted and put where the hunger is. In the same manner, where is the problem? Problem is not outside. Problem is in the mind. Therefore, the Guru must be lifted from outside, brought in the mind. Now, what the Guru does? He teaches. He may teach, but are we learning? <coughs> Therefore, who is the real Guru? Real Guru is our ability to learn from every passing experience. He will guide you from me. Otherwise, all the time, uh, uh, Swamiji, when we do minute, what should I do? Upma. <laughs> Make upma. See? Therefore, these five things, when we practice, we will not be a problem for ourselves. Now, these ten factors, five yama, five niyama, they are only referred by Patanjali as Mahavratas. Others are not referred as Mahavratas because they are the foundation of spiritual life. But you see in 99% cases, yoga means they bypass this two and directly come in asana. So yama niyama asana and asana also, they become physical. Again go to Patanjali. What Patanjali has told asana? Sthira Sukham Asana. So Sthira, steady, is an adjective of the Sukham, not the posture. Sthira Sukham Asana. We should be steadily blissful. That is asana. See? But we get lost. Only in the acrobatics. You will see in many yoga institutions, uh, there are many students learning this asana, and when there is a big program, then the students will come and they will demonstrate, perform on the stage different asanas, and then they will be clapping and all that. There will be some prizes. Is the spiritual practice done as a demonstration to the world? Is it the errant better? No. Sthira Sukham, in and through all experiences of our life, we are steadily happy and happily steady. Sthira Sukham. But how is this possible? He Patanjali gave. Prayatma Shaitilya Ananta Samapatya Bhya. You can be steadily happy only when you are leading an effortless life. 
whenever we are putting efforts we have separated or gone away from our natural status natural condition for example those who are hard of hearing it is not their natural condition so they have to put efforts and when you put efforts you get tired and when you get tired why waste time anyway i can't hear then sleep there is how many people come in such and and sleep and i like them the most because they are left with no doubt so prayatna shaitilya is possible ananta samapatti bhyam when you merge in the absolute you are effortless see but instead of taking these words of patanjali maharshi we get lost only in the physical aspect poor patanjali must be turning in his grave are yaar i did not mean this see my friends prayatna shaitilya ananta samapatte bhyam why prayatna kam we want to prove something to somebody we don't have to prove anything to anybody in this world be yourself then comes your pranaya pranaya means how much you are involved in this world without getting caught up in this world we have to be active dynamic and one of the most important thing never never retire in life keep yourself occupied till the last moment of life you may stop earning money you have done it sufficiently but does it doesn't mean now i want to take rest what rest only eating and twisting on the bed no we have to be dynamic creative see therefore all our uh, instrument must be functional all the time now this is one aspect second aspect of pranayama is very important see in meditation or spiritual life only two things are to be achieved one freedom from body identification <coughs> when we are identified with the body then only this world is available to us and all our problems are in this waking world and when we get tired we go to sleep when we are in sleep the world disappears so where the world is created when the world is created where from the world begins and where the world ends four questions so the world is created when it is created it is created the moment we are identified with the body the world is created. like i keep on changing the places every now and then so when i sleep i keep the lights on on that also there are question how many of you have to keep the lights on when you sleep i can see the dreams better <laughs> because every time it is a new place i don't know where i am which side is the bathroom which side is what so in deep sleep where i was when i was what i was nothing so when the world begins body identification so what is to be done be very attentive the first step in yoga or spirituality is freedom from body identification most important thing another subtle point you cannot live without body identification the yoga sutra yoga shastra says sharira madhyam kalu dharma sadhanam you cannot give a body identification then with simple point we have to function 
through the body and no more live as the body for the body on everybody so the first goal in your meditation is freedom from body identification it is for this purpose whatever we are doing if this is leading to this perfect or whatever we are doing if it is not leading to this it is wrong the first principle it is for this purpose in yoga sutra is based on the sankhya philosophy and according to sankhya there is one soul per body and therefore why this principle of soul is brought this is not taken into account and analysis and understanding by either the yoga sutra or by the this uh, the foundation of yoga sutra sankhya shastra they are not taken into account for the per body one soul and therefore they give a lot of emphasis on last life this life next life and we don't ask the question can you define what is a jiva what is the soul they don't dis- define except it it is the soul see friends and there are in upanishad it comes in a very big way there are so many varieties of thinking about the soul the soul is like if you take the tip of the hair and vertically if you slice it maybe 10000 times then out of that take one tip again that thing will be the yoga and then we get lost when we sit for meditation we are going inside 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 no you are not inside man the world is in you then all the yoga practices are focus only on body and insight no get out of the body identification and this can be done only by understanding no other way now for this pranayama is done see the body and the mind they are held together by the glue of prana like the stem and the envelope they are held together by the glue now these days the uh, we don't have the snail mail it's only the soft copy or this book in the snail mail what we used to do earlier get the postal stamp and then you have to fix it on a envelope so then uh, give it a uh, sanctification <laughs> and there after fix it on the envelope <laughs> and then you have to post it okay i'll post it later and then you go oh god i have fixed it on the wrong uh, envelope now how can i remove it if you do it forcibly it will be torn on 20 by rupees then what we do in one of us hardly five paisa okay we tear that in one and that portion where the stamp was fixed we give it a jal samadhi merge it in the water what happens there after the glue is slowly dissolved and you can peel off the stamp without losing it if this is clear exactly the same way the body and the mind they are glued together by the glue of the prana what pranayama does is we can miss this glue see and when you have been able to achieve to a great extent the sign that we are slowly separating our mind from the body the sign is threefold number 1 the body is steady without efforts in whatever posture you are without efforts second thing breathing becomes slow and shallow why the breathing becomes slow and shallow 
because when the body is steady and relax the bmr the basal metabolic rate falls and when the bmr falls requirement of oxygen is reduced and therefore effortlessly our breathing becomes slow and shallow to that extent the mind has given up its hold on the body if i hold this bottle in my hand and if i have to write something but i don't want to give this bottle or a phone for that purpose and then in this hand only holding the bottle and keeping the pen in my fingers if i start writing will my hand writing be normal it will be influenced by my hold on that object is it not we are identified with the body so our mind is taking the shape of the body thereafter the mind will think only in relation to that body mind cannot think without a reference in deep sleep when we are snoring away why there are no thoughts because mind has dropped the hold on the body then where the mind has gone the mind has merged in the total mind this is very important to know see space is common for all of us five elements are common for all of us body wise we are different our waking experiences wise we are different our dream wise we are different your dreams will be different my dreams will be different but when it comes to deep sleep snoring away that time we are all one in deep sleep we are neither man nor woman neither rich nor poor neither healthy nor unhealthy neither married nor unmarried because in deep sleep we attentive individual mind which was created by taking the shape of the body that individual mind has released the shape of the body then what happened to that mind now that mind has merged in the total mind it is something like our four when we go to sleep we put it in the socket so that overnight it is charged again next day we are ready to be with the whatsapp right? in the same manner our individual mind which was created by holding on to the shape of the body that mind was tired and therefore when we are tired of holding something we give it up exactly the same way the mind gives up the shape of that body and is released and merges with the total mind friends this total mind is responsible for maintaining life in the body not the individual mind total mind so like our individual battery gets exhausted so we charge it with the means in the same manner individual mind gets tired and therefore at night we plug it with the total mind and therefore when we are out of the sleep we are so fresh alas what happens we are fresh when we are out of the sleep but after the sleep is over we don't come out of the bed we keep on tossing on the bed like the dosha preparation and during that time all the energy that we have conserved in the deep sleep is exhausted and then oh god i don't feel like getting 
anyway, what will I do even if I get up early morning? I have nothing, nowhere to go. Oh. It is a life. Therefore, if you are out of sleep, immediately jump out of the bed. Don't keep on hanging on the bed. Then the energy that we have gathered through sleep will be properly utilized for the spiritual practice. <coughs> spiritual life is inspired life. See? You must have read in the woods, one of these books, one of the most inspired saint of our country was he. Those who have really wanted to walk the spiritual path, like Ram Tirthaji or Vivekananda, all have, we have gone through their life stories. And then we get motivated to walk that path. So to remain inspired, we have to get out of these lazy habits. It is here Niyam Sadhana comes. Shaucha Santosha Tavasvatya Ishwara Pradhanam. Then this pranayama is done so that when you are sitting quiet for maybe five or ten times, not more, don't keep on doing pumping the hair. Purpose is loosening the hold of the mind and the body. That's all the purpose. So when you do it five, six, ten times, what happens? All the toxins which are created as a um, metabolic waste in our body, they are of three types, solids, liquids and gaseous. Solids and liquids go through fecal material, urination, perspiration. But the uh, toxins in the form of gases, they keep on accumulating in our blood. And then they become so much saturated, then what will happen? the extra air or the toxins, they get accumulated in the joints because two bones come together, there is a space there and synovial fluid. These toxins start affecting the heads of the bone and also dry the synovial fluid. And therefore, when you crack, nothing breaks. That, that air which was released, which was there, it is released. Ask this pranayama is done, maybe five, ten times, relax. Thereafter comes the pratyahara. Pratyahara without you are sitting as Mr. Nobody. Whenever you are somebody, you will start thinking about somebody. If you sit for meditation as a husband, what will be your altar? Your altar will be the Mahakali with a kachi in the hand. If you are sitting for meditation as a mother, what will be your ideal that useless child? Therefore, one of the most important thing, Pratyahara is, do not become anybody. Insist. At this moment, I am nobody. Now, to understand this, we do a small experiment. Right now. As you are sitting, don't change your postures. You are perfectly all right. Now, let us play. Don't do meditation. Let us play. What we have to play? Let us play. I am husband or wife. And now start thinking. Stop. Keep this data with you. Now, second experiment. I am parents of children. And think now.
the last experiment, remain as nobody. Stop. Let us analyze these three experiments. When we became husband or wife, the thoughts were pertaining to wife or husband respectively. When we became parent or children, thoughts were pertaining to children or parents. But when we remain as nobody, chitta vritti nirodha is not required. Because you are nobody, no efforts, when you become somebody, you have got a reference point. Mind cannot think without a reference point. What are the reference points that we carry with us? Past, future and present relational positions. And then you may do anything. Nothing will happen, I guarantee you. You will never be able to achieve this. Don't do that. Then, Prasna Shaitilya, Ananda Samapati, relax, relax. Suppose sometimes you are chanting the Lord's name. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram. Sometimes the mind doesn't go for it. Never mind for the mind. Let's have something else. Do something. Wash the clothes, iron them, or clean the house. No, why not? Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram. And then our mind is only here and there. Then because of whom? Because of her mind is indestructible. I don't know whose face I have seen early morning. My whole day is void. Then the white tails. How many times I told you, don't do shaving early in the morning. You have seen your own face, therefore your own being is disturbed. Hey friends, spiritual practice is not a punishment. Yoga is not a punishment. So, when we came to this point, Pratyaha, we are now in the external world. So yama, niyama, asan, pranaya, this is called bhairanga sadhana. Then pratyaha, we do not allow the world to enter us through the gateways of sense organs. Now we have entered inside us. Now inside having entered, now the next stage is we have to work on the mind. So what is working on the mind? Three principles. Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. Dharana is fixing the mind in one place. Deshataha, Dharana. Then Vastutaha, Dhyanam. So fix the mind in one place, on one object, Dharana, Dhyan, for a long period of time, Samadhi. So when we are holding our mind in one place, on one object, for a long period of time, these three things put together is called the Sayyama, Trayame Katra Sayyama. Be attentive. Therefore, what is yoga? We start from Yama, we conclude in Samadhi, Net result is Sayyam. This Sayyam word of our Krishna is this. Yanisha Sarva Bhutana Tasyam Jagarti Sayyami. Mind is no more a problem. Mind is not uh, um, put into anesthesia. Then the mind is available. Freely while living in this relative world but not getting influenced by the relative world. Like a good driver, he negotiates through all the terrible traffics but he is at peace, he is not 
creating accidents nor he is getting involved in the accidents exactly this is what is the ultimate to be attained through yoga the prema katra sayama when the mind is free be attentive when the mind is free from time space and object the mind merges in the pure consciousness in the chan murti we have recently studied बीजस्यांतरिवांकुरो जगदिदं प्राण निर्विकल्पं पुनः माया कल्पित देश काल कलन वैचित्र चित्रीकृत वॉट इज द वेकिंग एक्सपीरियंस वेकिंग एक्सपीरियंस इज टाइम स्पेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ट्राई टू डील इन दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट रेफरेंस टू टाइम स्पेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन नॉट एंड दिस थ्री थिंग्स आर द वन विच आर मेकिंग दिस डांस इन दिस वर्ल्ड and therefore we have the ability that our mind is at peace we doesn't mean sleepy three qualities of the mind the mind is at peace it is alert and it is vigilant at peace no more reacting alert observing am i collecting impressions on the mind am i creating likes and dislikes on the mind and vigilant am i getting lost in appreciation or condemnation by the mind with this understanding when we lead our life that is what patanjali said atha to atha to योगानुशासनम अनुशासन दिस डिसिप्लिन देर फोर वॉट इज योग योग इज संयम एंड वेन संयम इज अटेड द माइंड विच इज फ्री फ्रॉम टाइम स्पेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉन्शियसनेस आईज फ्री फ्रॉम shapes and temperature is water like ice and water they are one and the same the water solidified called as ice and liquefied ice is called as the waters so what we have to do put the ice in the water there will be no noise you cannot hurry up in due time it will be wrong when this is practiced sincerely in and through all the activities of life we are practicing spiritual life according to patanjali maharaj give it a try and be happy o शांति शांति